Great to be here with you. Really an Thank honor you, to see you again. Good, good to be home. I was home now about three or four days. We live out here in far away. Living in China for American, maybe especially for Montana, is a little hard. It's a little tough. Air is not clean most of the time. And I sent an email back to one of my friends back in China. He says, I went off running yesterday in fresh air. Running very much is my therapy. It just helps. It clears the cobwebs and endorphins rattle around a little bit. The other therapy was just the job. I'm fascinated with the Chinese people of the yeah. country of China. It's very rewarding to be working in this relationship because I think the standard of living of our kids and our grandkids, both ours and Chinese, very much depend on how well we get this relationship to work. Sometimes I thought the United States Congress gets together only if there's a crisis or if there's extraordinary political leadership. And it's, I think it's very hard to find extraordinary political leadership today. Ted Kennedy is one of the best legislators I've ever known. Ted to stand out on the floor of the Senate and eat rail <laughs> about things he thought made sense. And then when all was said and done, he'd go by and close doors and the other side and I'd be there often and we'd, just, we'd work out an agreement. He wanted a compromise, he wanted a solution. And that was a big lesson for me. When he got very sick, it was, it was very symbolic. He invited me over to his house and it was basically the passing of the baton. Back about 2007, we did not have much of a healthcare system in America. It's not organized. So for two years, we really worked with all kinds of hearings, open hearings, and so on and so forth, and um, put together um, a bill which, which we thought was the best. Unfortunately, the other side, the end, made it very, very political. Not one Republican voted for that bill. It's only Democrats supported that. It's very, very unfortunate, because that made it less sustainable. And that's exactly what's happening right now. You walked across the state of Montana what was important about that when really launching your career? For me, a lot of it was just connecting with the land and connecting with the people. You know, we're outdoors people. <laughs> we like to hunt, fish, backpack, ski. You know, that's who we are as Montanans. Yeah. And I was born and raised on a ranch. It's in my blood. It's, it's in my DNA. It's kind of who I am. So I, I want to connect with people and walk, and also people that you wouldn't ordinarily meet. You go to rallies, and we tend to meet some of the same people. We also want to meet ordinary folks who just try to make a living. Our population in our state is about 900,000. I would say over and over again, I have 900,000 of the world's best bosses. I, I meant it. I meant it. People are the employers, members of Congress, and employees. But there's a lot of legitimate anger in America. Those who aspire for public office have to listen to these legitimate concerns and do something about it. You can't just give lip service or you're going to get tossed out. And, and, and you should. And that's part of the real gratitude and the reward of these jobs is to listen to legitimate grievances yeah. and, and trying to find a way to find a solution. Now, what's caused all this? Basically, we tend to listen to people we agree with. <laughs> we tend not to listen to people we don't agree with. And so we're in our little worlds. We just don't listen enough. And it, a lot of this comes down to what do the people of our country want? If they want Washington, D.C. to exercise more comedy, they got to push for it, and they got to be, they have to exercise more comedy themselves. The future of the United States is more assured the more a couple conditions occur. Number one, it's a very educated electorate. People have to work to get the information, work to get the facts. You just don't believe something because somebody else says it. You got to work at it. That's, that's one that's of the right. prices of democracy. And the other is you do something about it. You don't just sit on your hands. You yep. write a letter, you run for office, you work for people you agree with, oppose people you don't agree with, and you just got to get involved.